Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. I have another Divi tutorial for you today, and this one is again about the Divi menu module. Now we probably have 30 or so tutorials already here on YouTube and on our blog about the menu. In this one, I'm going to show you how to have an image or an icon above your menu item. So we had one where we had an icon or image to like the left, for example, of your menu item there. But this one is going to have it above. So you can have an image or an icon there and it can be centered or whatever above the menu item. So this looks really nice. It's a good way to undivvy your Divi menu. Um, so it's not even recognizable as Divi. Um, it's kind of fun. So let's get started and show you how. Okay, so this tutorial is going to be kind of piggybacking on two of my other tutorials because I don't want to reinvent the wheel. I don't want to, you know, go through and show you every little detail of adding the icons and adding the images because we have two tutorials on that. We have a tutorial here, how to add images to a menu. Um, this walks you through adding, um, going into the menu like this and adding this right here where it says image and then the source. So you're adding the image that way. Um, and then, you know, we walk you through that in this other tutorial. And then we have this other tutorial adding icons. You can see here, they're in the menu to the left side there. And this is really what we're going to be using as our base. So in this tutorial, we're, it's, it's not so much that we're adding the, the icons and images. We're letting you follow these tutorials and then we're showing you how to then position like this icon would be above. All right, so that's what we're doing um, in this tutorial. So we'll talk about that as we go here. So you would have to choose like if you're using images or icons, I guess that would kind of be like the main thing to start with. So, you know, do you already have icons or do you want to add icons? Um, do you want to create something like that where, you know, we have icons? So you would, you would choose the first one, the first one here in the tutorial is about icons. Second one is about images. Like if you have some kind of image, whatever it is. Um, in fact, they're interchangeable. You could add, um, you know, whatever you could add them both, but you just have to adjust some things. But anyway, that's the very first thing. So let's get started with the icons one. So like I mentioned, you're going to be using this tutorial. So it's kind of like, I assume you are already caught up to this point. Like, Either you've added the icons in the past with this tutorial or you're doing it right now and then pausing the video, you know, and, and coming back. Um, and I hope that's okay. It's just like, I don't want to be reinventing the wheel, but I will show you a couple of things. So in that tutorial about adding the icons, for example, here you can see that we added a class like that PA menu shop. And then we were just adding it into the navigation in the back end, the WordPress navigation. And we added this icon, and this is part of the ET modules font that's built into Divi. Um, and it's a, a cart icon. And so what I did for a demo here, I just took this same exact concept and did it three times, um, three different icons here, home, a cart, and like a, um, an email icon. So I've added those right here. You can see I've just duplicated it, right? PA menu home, PA menu shop, PA menu contact. And then in the back end, um, I can show you that. And right here we have um, the class home and then shop right there. Okay, get the idea. So we're adding the icon that way. So you can see that the way it is right now, the icon is on the left but we want to move it to the top and you can see there's a couple, um, these have sub menu items. So we have to consider that as well. So what we're doing, well, we'll go back here and grab the snippet. So you can grab this snippet right here from the tutorial and just copy that, copy that code right here. It's, it's three snippets within this here. So you would want to add it to your child theme or your Divi theme options. And I'm going to add it to my Chrome extension here. It's called user CSS. It's kind of handy. And I'm just doing this so I can show you live. Now, when I paste this in, everything happens um, to right here. 
and what it does, this very first snippet, um, in fact, I could do that so you can see it a little better. The very first snippet is saying flex direction column. It's just changing um, these items um, into a column, right? Or, or the direction would be vertical. Think of a column as vertical, right? And think of a row as horizontal. You know, by default, it would kind of be more like a row. So we're saying column. So we're saying, I want the items to be um, in a column vertical. So that's the first thing, and, and it works, right? The second thing has to do with, um, well, the, well, the first one, margin bottom. That's kind of, I hope that's more obvious. But see that there's like, if I didn't add that, the icons would be right against there. So I added 20 pixels. You could adjust that as needed. And then the margin right and left as auto, the reason I have those is because in our other tutorial, we do have margin right and margin left set. That's because when it's on the left over here, we kind of needed those. So you have two options. You could just remove the margin left and right from the original code, okay, from the tutorial. And then in our tutorial today, you could also remove the margin right and left. So it's kind of making it easy by adding like the override there. Um, but if you know what you're doing and you understood what I just said, then go ahead and just remove it. It's going to be cleaner. Remove um, the margin right and left from, from the snippet from this tutorial and then from today's tutorial. The last item here is adjusting this icon. Now this icon is here by default anytime there's a submenu underneath the main menu. So you might not have one. It may be more like the contact button where it's, well, there is none, right? But if there is one, it's, we thought that, you know, it would look weird here. In fact, if I don't have that here, see, it's, it, it's fine. It's fine. If you want to do this, um, you can see it's to the right side as normal it kind of adjusts here automatically um, but by putting this code in it does move it down below and it centers it and I personally think that looks kind of cool it's it's very different isn't it it's it's undivvy <laughs> it, it, if you looked at that you wouldn't necessarily say divvy right away so um, and then again the same kind of thing with the amount there I say top 20 and if you change that see that so we're just adding the 20 pixels and again you can change those values that's pretty much it. So you add the icons and then you position them with that code uh, from our tutorial today. And that is it. So that's for icons. Now images I have, I have here, you probably saw I had um, three um, of our logos there. It's kind of just as an example. Um, so here again is linked the tutorial about the images. Now the way those are added here um, in the tutorial, we, we add this code right here and we're saying you know we're putting it literally directly into the the label um, of the, the navigation label is actually what it's called so you will need to check out the tutorial here and follow it because it tells you how to you know go to the media library and grab the URL of the image and it's it's fairly basic you know um, but but go to go there and I'll show you the back end here so this is, it would look something like this. You can see I have image and then the source equals. And then right there, you can see that it's like um, my logo PNG, right? So it's, it's placing that image literally right there in the navigation. So then here's the label of the menu item itself. Um, so it's placing the image there. So again, that's in the other tutorial. So now when we come back here to our tutorial here, we can actually get rid of that. Well, we'll leave it there for now, but for showing you now, I'll go back here and copy the code. And again, this is the second snippet in the tutorial and it's specifically for the image. Now, two of the items are the same, the flex direction column, and then, you know, putting it in a vertical orientation and then the the little sub menu icon. So those are exactly the same. Technically, we're just changing the middle one there. So um, I'm going to paste that in. Now, you don't have to do exactly what I did here. I say max width of 60 pixels. 
Here, let me show you that. So if I would say 20 pixels, um, 90, you can see how I've just done that. You, you don't need to do that. I don't know what situation you'll have with the images there. Um, and again, with even the margin, you know, if you really wanted to do something different there, but I thought 20 looked good. So that's pretty much it. Like it's the same thing, you know, the, that one and this one are the same. We're just adding a max width. If, you know, if you want that, maybe your images are already exactly sized correctly. That would be, that would be even better. Um, and so there's, those are the two scenarios, an icon or an image right above the menu item. Uh, so I hope that this was fun. It really is different, isn't it? It's like, it, you don't see that a whole lot. I mean, I've seen it around other sites, but um, definitely not something you see a lot. And there's only going to be obviously certain use cases for this. It's not gonna work on every menu. Um, it's just not going to be practical or something, but boy, I can really see a lot of good use cases and this will work for the menu module or the default header, you know, the header menu that comes in Divi by default. All right, there you go. Now you know how you can add images and icons that are centered above your menu item. So if you found this useful, then you're probably going to want to check out all of our hundreds of other tutorials and especially the, I don't know, 30 or it's got to be over 30 by now of menu tutorials that we have. Um, they are our most popular series by far. Um, we have everything that I could possibly think of and it's like I continue to think of more too. So yeah, every scenario about the menu, uh, mobile menu, desktop, drop down, everything. So you can check those out. And I hope you enjoy what you have here and what we continue to release every week. And we'll see you guys in the next video.